Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a different video. This is a real time video of me doing only cuticle and nail prep. I will be explaining the steps that I'm going through. I'll be inserting a lot of, you know, just chill music. Um, just so you can watch this. I know some of you guys like my videos just for relaxing. But I also want to make sure that it's still educational and provides the information that you need. But just so you can watch this entire process on one hand, all five fingers, it's not sped up. Some of it is edited out, but only for time's sake or if we were talking or whatever. So first I'm going to start off, I'm using the Skiver bit from Atwood Industries. And this bit is going to be taken off the dead skin from the nail plate, which is the cuticle. So I'm just going in this in with this bit and just removing the cuticle. And it's also pushing back the epinachium, which is the actual living skin. It's starting to grow on the nail plate because she hadn't had her nails done in a while. So this is pushing back that skin. So what you'll be able to notice is I'm going over the entirety of the nail plate with this skiver bit. It's because it has a diamond texture, which means it's basically like a sanding band, but in metal form. And of course, it's very small to get in tight places. You could use a sanding band to go over the nail plate or even the cross cut bit from Atwood Industries over the nail plate. It's also a diamond bit, which means again, it has that sanding texture so you can see I'm just removing shine to add texture to make sure our enhancement adheres well. So next I'm going in with the round bit from Atwood Industries and I use this bit on the actual skin to remove any of that dead skin 
that we kicked up with the skiver bit. Now, you'll notice that I'm going from left to right, and then at some point I'll be going from right to left. I'm taking my e-file and I'm putting it on reverse and forward just to work that skin off in two different directions. She had a lot, a lot of dead skin. And as you'll see later, later on in the video, we'll go in and cut to remove some of that dead skin. Now, generally speaking, most of my clients, I don't need to cut any of the dead skin. After this step, it's usually the end of the prep but this client is kind of an exception and she hadn't had her nails done in a little while so we needed to take care of that to get the best look and to ensure our enhancements last as long as possible So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the dead skin. Now this is the dead skin only, no live skin. This is not hurting my client. This is not opening her skin up to any type of wound or bacteria. Dead skin only. I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of a flap of the dead skin that's left behind. This is just aesthetically not pleasing. And what it will do because it's left there and it's dead it will dry up and callus and crack and can cause hangnails. So we wanna get that removed. Now in the state of Texas, which I'm licensed in, it is okay to nip or cut away dead skin. Now sometimes you'll see people go in and cut off all of the skin back here. And sometimes it will scab up. It will look very red, like it's about to bleed. That is not our goal. That's not what I'm doing. I'm literally cutting off dead skin it's kind of calloused it's hard again she can't feel it now after i do this i'll be going back in with the round bit in order to buff it smooth because the nippers are straight and i'm going in a curved area it just doesn't add up well so what i'll have to do is buff any remaining skin and then also make sure that i don't actually cut the live skin because i'm not getting that close i'm using the buffing tool in order to go back in and smooth everything out so on this finger you see she has a hangnail she actually has two and i'm going in and i'm clipping off the dead skin now again if this was a hangnail that was red irritated bleeding i would not address it but because it's just dry skin again there's no open wound i go ahead and cut that dead skin at this point it's just irritating and it can basically tear up more so that it is open and irritated so we just clip that and i'll go ahead and buff that excess skin also
So you'll see I'm again going in with this round bit, going reverse and forward direction with, with the bit, going from right to left, left to right, in order to buff up that skin in multiple directions. And you can also see I go back in with the nippers and basically remove some more of that dead skin. Now I feel like it's about to a point that we don't need to clip anymore, we just need to work on buffing the skin. And because this client had such an excess of dead skin, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but we're in way, way better shape than we were to begin with. Just between all the skin that we removed from the nail plate, all the skin we kicked up when we first used the round bit, everything we clipped off, and then now the this, this stuff that we're going ahead and trying to buff out and smooth out. It's, it's just such a world of difference. And it makes the enhancement look so much nicer and the client feel more confident when they're showing off their nails because that skin if i would have left all that dead skin again it would callous up and dry up and crack and you know you might get a little shy or embarrassed to show people you know if your skin is looking like that but you have very nice nails so it's really important for confidence of the client just the look of the enhancement, but also so that the enhancement lasts. So this is going to bring a close to our cuticle and nail prep process. You can see these are the final results. It's not perfect, but it's a step in the right direction as long as the client comes consistently and also moisturizes. I'm going to go ahead and spray the hands off with alcohol, scrub it with a cuticle brush, and move on with my process. 
Now, if you want to see how these nails end up, they're going to be a rose quartz set, a beautiful set. Go ahead and watch that video to see how I got this look. In the meantime, leave any comments you have below. Go ahead and subscribe, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.